Well, hello everyone. My name is Billy, and today I'm just creating a video to pay tribute to one of the fellow gay teens that recently just committed suicide. And personally, to me, nothing saddens me more so than when I see anyone, teen or not, that has committed suicide. I mean, it, it's really hurtful to see stuff like that. But as we know, as a direct result of Eric James Borgers recently committed suicide was because he's been bullied, harassed, and dealt with other things for the simple fact of him being gay. Now, I know sometimes it's difficult to deal with the harassment, the name calling, or what people may think of, think of anyone being gay. I've lived through it. I've lived through it through my middle school and high school years. And you know, I have to say it took some tough mental power just to get over what people say it's just basically their comments and it doesn't matter to me now I know for some it's not always that easy to say that to let comments go but as time progresses it trust me as comments are nothing more than just words and nothing else but I just wanted to create this video just to pay tribute to Eric James Borges and I just also want to read a special quote that he created that I think is very important to everyone about the importance of love and how it transcends to respecting each and every body that's on this earth, not just simply because you're gay or anything. You can be of a different race or of a different gender or of a different um, sexual orientation. It, just love means a, a world of difference. And, but I will read his quote love it has the strength to decimate the threshold of all prejudice all inequality human relationships and those who come into our lives have the ability to ultimately shape who we are there is importance in loving each other the way each of us truly deserves and I really like the quote that he just um, he created and he spoke about, and it does transcend to a lot of the things. And one thing about love that can come from your family, your friends, or anyone else that's a part of the support system. And as I stated earlier, you know this bullying and this mess and all this name calling stuff needs to stop but we know everybody can't and will probably not follow suit but if we all come together the ones that sees this stuff happening we can do something to actually stop it to prevent to stop more teens from committing suicide that is something that we cannot allow to happen simply because someone's been bullied we can't allow that to happen to one of our fellow friends. I mean, it's not a matter of us knowing a person or not. We just cannot allow this to continue to happen. And any of the derogatory information that someone writes, says, or even does should be just a matter of words and their actions. And we should not allow that to get to us. And believe me, I know that's easy, much easier said than done, but just just think about it as time progresses those words and things will not matter and you and you know as a stronger person once you let those things go you realize that whoever said those derogatory things or did any type of bullying or harassment that it, it, it doesn't matter well i just want to say to the family of Eric james borges i just want to um say rest in peace to you all sign and I hope that as the, as this time progresses you all find out um, to get better and better and to anyone else who's feeling down I have to say that it does it gets better videos are a great tribute to explaining situations in life that other gay teens or whatnot have experienced or others who are not necessarily gay but giving words of encouragement and I hope that you all do um, look at those and and understand those messages and, and and talk to someone the next time you feel or that suicide is an option which it should never be for anything. Well, 
good luck everyone. I just want to wish you all the best. And once again, I have to say rest in peace again to Eric James Borgia. Thank you.